what made this such a good fit for you? Uh, just the pieces that are already in place. I feel like it's a plug and play situation uh, and the chance to go in. Kind of walk us through kind of how all this came together and kind of what led you here. Um, received a received a call from my agent on Sunday, uh, saying that there was some interest and uh, they might want to have a conversation. Um, next one thing led to another. Uh, got the next day, I was told that they wanted me to come on a visit. I got here late last night. Uh, everything went well this morning. And I guess that's about as smooth as you could say. Um, fly in, everything go well, and sign the dotted line. When you talk to you Zach and, when you talk to Zach and Frank, kind of what was the message that they kind of conveyed to you as they kind of took you through the process and what they were looking for uh, from you next season? Uh, they told me that they were, they were just looking for somebody that was coming to play. That that, but the, well, the first and foremost, they said they believe in me. They believe in my game. They like my game. Um, and they said I, I, how I play the game is everything that they believe in. They feel like this uh, was missing uh, to help them get over the top. So uh, I was all for that. I was excited about that. And I'm even more excited now being here. Trent, congratulations. Just working, skinny. Can you hear uh, me? Thank you. Um, as far as you. today's today's visit, you got in late last night. You said it's pretty quick to sign. What were you hoping to get out of the meetings this morning going into them? And I assume you did get out of them what you wanted. Um, so it was pretty much a reiteration and an extension of what, of what we talked about over the phone before I even uh, got on the plane to come here. Um, and it was just uh, telling them what they expected of me, what they be what they believe should happen and how we'll go about things. How we'll, and, and that's just what it was. Uh, sh straight shooters. And I, I could appreciate that. You've obviously played left tackle and right tackle. Comfortable at both. Was that mm -hmm. a a factor when you were looking at all of your options in free agency? Because obviously they have Orlando Brown on on the left side. Well, that's I think that's the beauty of my game, being able to play in the, at an elite level on either side. Uh, like that, it's it's no really it's not really a big deal. I'm, I'm a plug and play guy on either side. Was there any concern, or is there any concern that they could go? in the draft as early as the first round to, to draft the guy to compete with? None at all. When they talk to you, they they talk to you with you being the right starting right tackle for, for the upcoming yeah. season. Was that the projection? Yes, sir. You know, Trent, what's what does it mean to you to come to a team that has a quarterback like Joe Burrow and to be, you know, a bookend with Orlando Brown Jr. left side and you on the right? What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, and it's a it's a little added motivation to uh, do your job and keep him up right because you know he can make special things happen. What's in your mind? What's the biggest key to kind of maybe getting back to the Pro Bowl form that you had a few years ago? And what what are you looking to do this year that maybe you feel like you could have done better uh, the last few years? Um. Really, I mean, I, I feel like I'll, I, I'll be worried less and uh, just be be able to worry about playing football. I won't have to worry about uh, any off the field things. Um, and I'll, I'll be able to just uh, enjoy coming to work on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and and that's that was important as well when, when we talk about fit. One thing that New England had you do a lot is go up against these pass rushers in drop back situations one-on-one. -on -one. The Bengals like to throw the ball a lot. I'm sure you'll be in, in some one-on-one -on -one situations like you have been against Miles Garrett, TJ Watt. How comfortable are you in those situations because you do it more than any other tackle in the league? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable doing that. Uh, that's I, that's what I do best. Um, I think I think that's why I'm here. And and like you said, you won't you won't find another tackle uh, in the league or in the game of football today that does that better than me. Uh, I have a unique set of skills and be, and being able to play both sides that way, uh, and uh, credit to God and my parents for that. You know, you talked about you know being enjoying coming to work and that being a big thing. You know, what was the last couple of years like for you, and how big of a difference does it make for a player when they enjoy coming into the building? Well, I don't want to really get into the last couple of years. Let's talk about right now. Um, we uh, 
here with Coach Zach, and I had a conversation with him, like I said, Sunday, and Coach Pollock on Sunday as well. And and like I said, it was just an extension of that today, um, which led to me signing the dotted line. Brett, how yeah. important was, uh, uh, how important was Dante Skarnecchia in your development? And do you see any do you see any similarities with him and Coach Pollock and what he um, teaches? Uh, so I, I haven't I haven't seen Coach Pollock in action yet. Uh, he he kind of told me that uh, he'll have some he'll have some tips for me, but at this point in my career, he, he's going to let me play. Um, but with Scar, uh, I think he he challenged me uh, to be the player that I can be, and that's what I accepted the challenge, and and that's what I appreciated the most about him in my development. You talk about your unique set of skills that help you play either side of the line. Um, what is it about you, whether it's physically or mentally, that allows you to be that guy that can that can be versatile on the O line? Uh, just just gifted athletically, um, being able to switch, uh, playing either side. Uh, coming in as a rookie, I started out a bit as the swing tackle, and then I started uh, over time won the job at right at the right tackle spot. Um, and then when I got traded in 2018, I played uh, left tackle full time for the first time. I had only had probably like three starts at left tackle with the Niners over the course of those three years. Um, but uh, it's, it's just the comfortability and over time uh, understanding uh, that I cross train that way in the offseason so that I uh, can be able to plug and play whenever the situation comes where I need to be, where I'm needed, wherever on at either tackle position. Does it help to know that you know exactly what your role is going to be here? You talked about coming in and being the right tackle. Does that help you in the offseason knowing that? Absolutely. Uh, it still won't. It still wouldn't affect how I train. Um, I still will cross train, and uh, yeah. Why have you talked to Ted Harris before you came here? And if so, what did what did he tell you about the culture here and what's going on? Um, he said he loved it here. He said that, um, bro, this is this is a great organization. Uh, it's like a family over here. And I walked in the building this morning. He was in the hot tub getting ready to work out. So he was like, that, that even added to it. Uh, him being here on March 19th uh, and the off-season program didn't start for another month almost. Um, that was kind of like a, a huge thing right there in itself. Just just being, being from where we came from, uh, when people would uh, – get out of there for a release uh, any chance we had. Did Ted show you his new tattoo, the Sensi he hats tattoo? No, I heard about it though. <laughs> Brent, is there any difference between the guys playing on the left side on defense as opposed to the right side? Any difference at all? Speed, size, talent? Uh, I think we have a lot of great rushers in this league. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, take any credit away from them on either side. I think we have a lot of great rushers on this in this league. Either side, who's the best one you faced? Um, there's been a lot of them. Uh, say Von Miller, uh, Miles Garrett. Yeah, Trent. Why do you take so much pride in being able to play both sides? Because there there are a lot of guys that would want to just stick to one side. But you even mentioned you're you're going to continue to cross train. Uh, just, just versatility, and also it just helps your body stay aligned and uh, stay even. What are your whether you know whether it's today and last night or past times that you've been to Cincinnati? What are your impressions of Cincinnati and the city and the area? Um, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. Um, this is the first time I've been here in over twenty years, I believe. This is. It's just my second time here ever, um, but it's a beautiful city. Uh, from what I, what from what I've seen and heard, it's a it's a city built on family and family values, and they love them some football. What, what was your first time here? I was like eight years old. I came to a conference uh, with my dad. Obviously, so all you're be... playing in the NFL, you never played a game in Cincinnati. I haven't. 
What's this process been like for you? I mean, it's it's been eight days since the tampering window opened. Are you a patient guy by nature? Was or were you starting to wonder what was going on? Um, I I feel like I, I wasn't really I wasn't too worried. Uh, I I was patient enough to wait on the right fit. I think I've uh, earned earned enough over the course of my career to, to where I've been able to be that be that way. Um, and the right fit came along, and here we are. Trent, obviously you'll be blocking for, for Joe Burrow. You mentioned Ted was in the building. I know Joe's been in there a lot this offseason. Have you been able to talk to him yet? And if so, what have those conversations been like? No, I haven't talked to him yet.